Hello again, everybody. This is Derek, aka Mr. Everything, and I am coming back at you with another Wargaming and Miniature video. In today's video, we're going to continue on with our What's in the Box series. And in today's What's in the Box, we're going to be looking at the Belgian line infantry for black powder made by Warlord Games. These are 28 millimeter Napoleonic Belgian infantry. And it looks like Warlord has doubled down on their resin models. These are these are 24 Warlord resin Belgian infantry. Uh, also, uh, it does give you a pretty good like war paint and Vallejo uh, paints that you might want to use on your figures. And it also uh, says that they know that the Belgians didn't really carry flags into uh, Waterloo, but uh, they included the flag sheet anyway because gamers like to have flags on their units. And I do too. I, I do absolutely prefer that. It says it comes with plastic bases. Well, we'll have to figure that out and see if it actually does. A flag sheet in 24 resin figures, including an officer, a drummer, ensign, and NCO. All right, so let's take a look and see what we have to work with here. Well, it looks like you are getting bases, in fact. Oh, oh, hang on. That that flag sheet is out freaking standing. This is not your standard warlord flag sheet that I've had in the past, which were a very glossy photo paper. This is more of a printer paper, uh, and it's not super glossy. There is some gloss, but it's not super glossy. You got the militia here. Right, um, and then you've got line infantry, light infantry like the Jaegers, and then they even give you cavalry. So this is just an awesome flag sheet. I give them two thumbs up for that flag sheet. Okay. And they give a brass standard, which I give them a third thumbs up for that. Because uh, I love me some brass standards. And they give you a full sheet of bases. Uh, 24 figures, you only need these six bases to complete a battalion. Uh, but they give you additional bases. And they even give you individuals and strips in case you want to make like skirmishers or whatnot. That's outstanding as well. Okay. It's definitely resin. Definitely resin. Okay, one advantage to resin over their plastics. You don't have to assemble them. There's no assembly needed, except for the standard bearer. Okay, this is going to be a problem. I just can't get my fingers in there. did not want to open. Dumping them all out. A little bit of resin bits in there. Could be flash. Could be bayonets. I don't know. We're going to take a look.
Okay, this one opened quite a, quite a bit easier. Just that one that didn't want to open. Okay, so you get your standard pole off to the side. Get your drummer. Now these guys seem to be a little tall. They just seem to be very tall. Um, but they're not. They just seem to be. Maybe they just seem to be a little thinner. They're thinner and taller is the way they look. This is the NCO pointing. This is the officer. Looks like he's got a little bit of flash coming off of his plume. You know, because they're wearing those Belgic Shakos very much like the British. Oh, it comes with the ensign, which is the the uh, the ribbons or the banners that come off of the flag. That's that was a beautiful touch. I liked that. Okay, this would be your standard bearer and it does look like if it was me I think I'm going to take a pin vise and drill that hole a little bit deeper that that hole only goes down about one millimeter I think I would drill it all the way down into the bottom all the way into the bottom of that uh, flag car carrier and then I'd be able to push that flag pole down inside there okay okay they do have different poses i don't know how okay every one of those is a different pose so far okay they're not necessarily different arm poses or head poses but those legs are definitely different Okay, guys, I'm, I'm back. I've got them separated by pose. Uh, now, these three poses right here, you can see how the arm is across the body, right? They are holding the rifle on the left shoulder tight across the body uh, on all, all three of these. But on the pants, you'll see these have rolled cuffs at the bottom. These have straight cuffs with the little cutout at the bottom of the cuff. And then right here, this is um, pants that are tucked into maybe a, a gaiter, something like that. Okay, and then we got the straight pants here. Now I'm looking at uh, the, the, the right foot forward, right? Uh, all of these up here were right foot forward uh these guys are right foot forward as well but these have cuffed okay hold on yeah so we got two cuffs a tuck in a gaiter and then straight legs so you're getting uh a little bit of variety on the on the the pants um right now on these guys same thing we got tucked into the gaiters straight legs uh he's a right foot forward i guess i guess you could call these right foot forward but i don't know they're so tight and then these are the tight feet now the walking left foot forwards you're looking at all of these are straight legs this guy is tucked Okay, I got another adjustment. These two have the gull wings. These two have the gull wings. So that's four. These two have gull wings. There's six. 
And these two have gold wing. That's eight. Okay, so you get eight elite. You get these two, these two, these two, and these two have the elite gold wings. That's great. So there is actually quite a variety of poses. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, just looking at the details, it looks like it's going to be super easy to paint. Backpacks are pretty cleanly detailed. I'm not seeing a lot of mold lines or flash lines. If there are any, then uh, you could just clean that up a little bit with a little bit of an X-Acto knife. Um, take a look at this office. See if I get any good. His face is good. His uh, okay. Hold on. None of these have shako covers. Okay, so these are all the full shakos with the cords uh, and the pom poms. And you can see all that. You can see the hair. See the. Uh, Epaulette, buttons, that looks pretty good. These, this guy's got boots, obviously. Now the standard bearer does look a little bit too thin uh, in the waist, right? It looks like he has no hips. Drummer. Drum looks good. Drum looks great, actually. Better than some metal model. It looks a lot better than some metal models that I've seen in the past, especially the bottom of the drum. You know, a lot of these miniature companies, they don't spend a lot of time or effort in making the bottom of the drum very good. This drum looks really good on the bottom. Really good. Cross straps look really good. Canteens look good. The bedroll on the top of the back, that backpack looks awesome. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit. We're going to pull some of these up and you can see the actual quality of these models uh, as we you know, as I can zoom in. Give me a second. All right, yeah, this is the NCO. I just wanted to bring them up so you could see the quality that I was looking at. Look at that backpack. Look at the straps. Look at the detail on that. And then you got his canteen, haversack, ammo, pou ammo pouches, bed roll. You got those uh, his ears, collar, cuffs, cuffs, straps. Now that little piece right there, you just cut. Okay, that's the NCO. Now let me show you the drummer. And I'll show you what I was talking about on the drummer as well. Got those gaiters. Pants are tucked and they actually look like they're tucked in. Okay, so that's the top of the drum. Looks pretty damn good, to be honest. But look at the bottom of the drum. that not look awesome and I'm not and I'm not noticing any mold lines even though I'm sure uh, over time they'll develop in their molds but right now we got no mold lines from that and look at the the plate 
on his Jaco hair. Bed roll. Backpack. Sword. Got a little apron. They all look like that. Bring up the officer. I'm just going to give you a sampling. We're not going to go through all 24 figures. His boots. Okay, you can see you got to cut a little bit of little bit of something off the bottom but hey luckily warlord resin cuts like butter so it's pretty easy get the steam in his pants got the sash the button the uh, ribbon on his sword His upper back could have could have been done a little bit better. A little bit too smooth. There should be a seam, I think. Look at that. Um, turn back. Good. This is the standard bearer that I was talking about, where the hole for the standard pole itself is not deep enough. I would cut it a little bit deeper. Yelling. Ah. Furry backpacks. Look good. Straps look good. Okay, so now I'm just going to grab. Okay, you can see how the pants. Look like there's a rolled cuff. Get a little mustache. And those are the shoulders I was talking about. Elite company. And then this is like those straight leg pants I was talking about, which is little clips at the bottom. They all have a very good amount of quality on them. And then this would be kind of like, a, what do you call them, the tucked in gaiters. Randomly grabbing a few figures just so you can see Quality is pretty consistent across the board. Okay, that pants where they come together and the inseam, maybe that needs to be maybe not. And then these are the guys with their arms across their body, you know, holding their weapons. Got those wings, elite company with the money. Great legs. You can see the gaiters underneath. Great leg pants. These are better than some other models that I've seen. Metal models, these are actually 
Okay, so that was 24 Belgian line infantry. I'm counting them right now. I'm putting them in how I would normally, or, you know, four per base. Yep, there's four per base. 24 models. Belgian line infantry, Warlord Resin. Uh, complete with standard with ensigns. That's great. All right, uh, and this with bases with extra bases, they overbase you. And this is a really good quality paper. Really good quality. I'm I'm very impressed with this. I hated the other uh the, the how many you get so many of them. Uh okay. So if you start using these down here, well you won't be able to use these over here because they're the backs of them, right? But if you and the way they put them on there If you use this flag, then you wouldn't be able to use either of these two because the other flag is like right on the middle of it. But you could definitely use these two four flags for anything, and then you can alternate. You could like use this flag and this flag, and then on the other side, use this and this because then they'd be on the opposite sides. But if you use the cab flags, you got to be sure to only use these two and that way you can still use this militia i don't know there's just there's you could easily get four five six seven eight nine you could easily get nine eight or nine infantry flags depending on how many of these four cavalry flags you use. So you're gonna have a ton of flags for all your Belgian infantry. And uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to maybe putting these together and painting them. All right, guys, uh, look for them on my store coming in the future and, I, and with these flags. And I will see you in the next video.